The origins of Taumata Arawa go back to the Havelock North Drinking Water Inquiry. A large number of people were infected by Campylobacter because of unsafe drinking water and there were some deaths associated as well. Sitting through that inquiry, it was significantly damning to hear the effects on the population and the consequences of the illness. At any one time, a large number of communities, a surprisingly large number of communities in New Zealand, are beset with uh, boil water notices. The Havelock North Drinking Water Inquiry came up with a significant number of profound recommendations. One of those was to create an independent drinking water regulator. My first memory of Havelock North when I, when I heard was, I hate to say it was only a matter of time, but I felt that the system had to give somewhere but it never really came home to me till I went up there. And it, it, you realise what a breach of trust it, it is for someone to turn on the tap and get sick. Tamata Arawai is set up and established to deliver, uh, I guess, regulation on behalf of all New Zealanders to ensure that everybody has access to safe drinking water. Uh, we are going to set the standards give guidance as to how to achieve them and to lift that performance and deliver safe drinking water for all uh, while having respect for Te Mano Te Wai principles. Te Mano Te Wai is ensuring that all our marae and all our whānau and papakainga and Rahui Pōkeka have access to clean drinking water but also that the places that water is from are appropriately cared for and we exercise our kaitiaki of the Mano Te Awa and that all leans towards Te Mano Te Wai. So if I was to talk to anyone about giving effect to Te Mano Te Wai and our role in Te Mata Arawai it would be how do we uh, preserve the integrity of the water from the source to the tap. So it's taking more responsibility of the water and its environment before we, it even enters the processes to deliver it as fresh water to families and communities. There are a lot of water suppliers out there who have been used to regulation and they're primarily the local government of New Zealand that supply water to about 85% of our population. We expect them to make a, a sharp step up in terms of guaranteeing access to safe drinking water. We would expect all of them to be properly registered, all of them with a revised drinking water safety plan. I mean, they are at the forefront of delivery to New Zealanders. They've got to step up. What we also know is that there's about 75,000 drinking water suppliers that come under our control now, our regulation, but they've never been regulated before. They have four years in which to register with us and a further three years to really hit the mark in terms of regulation. I think that's a marvellous opportunity for all of us to work together. The key though for all of us is safe drinking water to be supplied. If they can't or they're not, we need to work with them, shall we say, in the first of those years. They become our immediate concern. The key message that is embedded in our legislation and our task is to help all drinking water suppliers realise that they have a duty of care to provide safe drinking water for their communities. Havelock North illuminated what a large number of people had been worried about for some time and it showed just how bad it can be. It's a game changer for Aotearoa in terms of re resetting our environmental um, imperatives as a nation and then implementing that for future generations. This is about bringing back the trust and confidence for New Zealanders that when they turn on the tap, it's good to go.